Hey guys, how is everybody? It's Trisha Cromwell, stylist extraordinaire, trust in Trisha, and I'm coming to you today because I want to talk about Facebook. Why right now? I'll tell you. Because this morning I went to Cafe Salon in Quincy. My girl Kiana hooked me up. She did my hair, gave me a little body, which I never have, beat my face. AKA did my makeup for those who think she physically assaulted me. She did not. Um, but she hooked up my hair. She hooked up my makeup. We did a really fun um, video shoot this morning from her salon. So stay tuned for that fun project. But then I thought, I had my hair and makeup did. I might as well do my own Facebook Live and do my own video. So been wanting to kind of come pop on quickly just to talk about my Facebook group. I started it uh, pretty recently and it's starting to grow which is exciting and the participation and the energy is really fun, it's really cool. So of course I want it to get bigger. I want more, more, more. I want to share style and tips and all that fun stuff with everybody. So I want everybody to join my group. Um, the name of it is Get Dressed with Trisha. And that's T-R-I-C-I-A. I'm not an S-H-A, thank you. And it's a private group on Facebook. So the reason that I started it was because a few years ago, I actually can't remember what year I started, but a few years ago, I started to do a challenge on Facebook called the Get Dressed with Trisha Challenge. And it was a challenge for people um, for 14 days to get dressed in a different outfit and not repeat an outfit. You can repeat an item, but you've got to wear it differently and style it a different way. And the purpose was really just to get people energized and excited to get dressed. And I typically do it when fall is starting and when spring is starting. So that way it's, you know, we're coming out of the rut of the previous season of wearing the same thing all over again. We're excited for the new season. We're buying new items. In fall, everyone loves the boots, right? So you bought your boots, but it's still 70 degrees out, so you don't really wear them, but you can't wait. So I kind of, um, I started it as a, an excuse for us to all wear our new goodies and show everything off, and for us to get out of the rut of the previous season, get excited about the upcoming season, and get dressed, and really challenge ourselves to not wear the same thing every day, because how many people have that issue, right? You reach in your closet, it's 7.30 a.m., you have 10 minutes to leave for work, and you're like, whatever, these black pants will do again, and you don't put all that much thought and creativity into it. So this challenge was obviously um, designed to fix that and, and really make it fun. Of course, I offered a prize because that's how I roll. So I'd done that for a couple of years, and then Facebook groups became all the rage, and um, people in the Get Dressed with Trisha, the participants, started requesting that the event be private. So I started a private Facebook group, Get Dressed with Trisha. Our members have to be approved. And it's all about sharing styles. So I really wanted to take the Get Dressed Challenge and build on it and do something weekly on a smaller scale, but something weekly just to get us energized, get us excited, get us thinking about, you know, how we look, what we're wearing, what thought creativity we're putting into things, how we're accessorizing, putting outfits together. Make sure it's exciting. We're not wearing the same thing all the time. So what we do in the group, um, we share tips. We share shopping tips. We share outfits. Um, we had a member of the group that posted a dress that she wore, a dress in a blazer, super cute that she wore on a job interview. And it was so cool that she shared with us and everyone's like, wow, that looks great. It really did look great. And then she came back a week later and said, hey, guess what, guys? I got the job. So it's really fun and it's it's kind of forming this great community of people and you know that don't know each other or even in different states, but we're all really communicating because we all have one common theme, fashion and either the love of it or the hate of it, right? So there are some people in the group that aren't as creative or aren't as excited about shopping and they like to get dressed, they have clothes, they don't know how to make the most of them. So this kind of helps them to switch it up. And then there are the people in the group that love shopping, love posting the selfies, could be me, I'm just saying. There's a couple of us. And we just want to show off what we got. We got some new stuff. Um, Like recently I bought me a new bag because I deserved a new bag. So Mark Jacobs was calling my name. I deserved it. And what's the first thing I did? Posted a picture in the group like, hey guys, got a new bag. Love it. And I got it at TJ Maxx. So what's better than the price, right? I got like 50% off retail current season. How do you not tell everybody about that, right? 
So we really share in the group. And then I do a weekly challenge to just, like I said, challenge us all. So I'll come up with a different item or trend each week. And then that's something that you either have to wear that week, at least once, but only once. Or you have to do some research and find something that you would like if you don't have it in your wardrobe. So for example, I, we just did stripes. Um, another week we did plaid, right? So if you had a plaid shirt, a plaid hat, a plaid scarf, a plaid jacket, you took that out and you made it a point to wear it that week. And you took a picture, you show it off. Um, some, you know, some people are into the selfies and the outfit pictures. Others are a little bit shy. So you can just post the item. You can post the outfit or the garment on a hanger. Or you can post yourself wearing it in the way that you styled it and show off everything. And it forces you to go through your wardrobe. It forces you to really go to the back of the closet, right? Go to the bottom of the drawer to see, like, do I have stripes? Do I have plaid? Do I have jeans? Let me go check. And then it makes you kind of analyze. So you're pulling it out. You're wearing it. So it's making you get use out of it. And it's making you evaluate like the denim week, for example. Do I have any jeans that I like that fit me correctly? Oh my goodness, this is all I have or I have all the same wash or this is my one favorite pair that I wear all the time. So guess what? Don't just grab those ones. Grab a different pair of denim and throw those on. That week actually helped me to do exactly that because of course I have my favorite go-to pair. It made me dig and put on a pair that I totally love and forgot about. But that's the point. And on the flip side... If you go through your wardrobe and you're like, wow, I don't have any stripes or plaid or denim or whatever the item is for the week, maybe that's something I might want. Let me look online and see. If I wanted something stripes, if I needed stripes right now, what would it be? And then you go online, you find a cute blouse, you post it and say, hey, I found this online, it's striped, I really like it. Maybe you buy it, maybe you don't. That doesn't matter. It's all about getting you excited. Is, is stripes or plaid something that you want in your wardrobe? Is it something you're lacking and you don't know why and this made you realize it and oh, now you have to go get stripes because everyone else looks so cute in them? Or is it something you can kind of do without? Some weeks are booming. Some weeks everybody's posting and everyone's posting multiple times. Other weeks no one posts because it's a little bit more of a challenge. Um, I think the funnest week so far has been socks, funky socks, which is crazy. And it's funny because everyone kind of has a story. Um, so for me, I hate white socks. Like white sweat socks, eh, I hate them. I don't know if that was like appropriate during a live, but like bleh. I hate them. They're stupid. I don't know. Like, unless you're going to play basketball, and even then they have better socks for that. I just hate them. So I actually do not own one pair of white socks. Every pair of socks that I have are printed, colorful. A lot of them are, like, holiday-based. I have a lot of Christmas socks, which I realized how exactly how many during this challenge. Um... But for some other people, it was a challenge for them, and they don't have printed socks. They have the basic colors. A lot of things we, things that we talked about during that week, too, were mismatched socks, right? Like, why does the dryer always eat one of your socks, and what do you do with the singles? Like, do you just wear them together, and who cares? Your socks don't have to match, or are you on, like, Team OCD where your socks have to match, and if you lose one, the other one just becomes a rag or goes in the trash? So kind of these just fun, silly conversations to lighten the mood, give us something fun to do on Facebook, but also to challenge us and to really help in our lives. There's Every week this has helped me, and I hope that it helps everyone else the same. It seems like it does. If you're watching and it does, hit the thumbs up, hit the heart button. Um, but for me, it has helped. Like, for example, one week was floral. So I knew that I had a couple of floral tops. I've had them for a while. Wasn't too excited about them. i kind of recently thought about getting rid of them. And then I remembered, I have pants with flowers on them. I have gap jeans with pretty color flowers that I haven't worn in years because they kind of stopped fitting, but I like them, so I was still holding on to them. And, you know, now that I've had a baby, my body has changed, and I actually am now smaller than I was before I got pregnant. So it's kind of crazy because I do not know what in my wardrobe fits me, right? Because I have the things that I was wearing before I found out I was pregnant and then the things I wore during my pregnancy. And now I'm going back. I'm not going back to the clothes I wore pre-pregnancy. 
I'm going back to the clothes I wore pre pre pregnancy, right? So I don't know what fits me. And I obviously have a three month old. So with my hands full, I don't have a ton of time to go through my closet and try everything on. It's kind of got to go somewhere. You have five minutes, throw this on, hope it fits. It doesn't. Oh, well, remember that next time, but you got to go kind of deal. So this has been awesome for me because every week I pick an item or the group helps to pick an item and it forces me to actually go into my wardrobe and try it on. So I said, you know what? I've, I've lost some weight. I wonder if those floral pants will fit. And they did. Like I would have just kept them in the drawer, right? And they're white jeans with like coral and blue flowers on them. They're perfect for spring. I would have just kept them in the drawer. Like, oh yeah, those didn't fit me. But because the challenge was floral and I wanted to challenge myself in the challenge. I dug them out, tried them on, they fit, wore them that week, and then I actually wore them on Easter as well. So how good is that? Um, and, and the same thing along the lines of being a mom, when it's time to go, it's time to go. Like when I put that child in the car seat, it's go time because he's crying until the car seat starts moving and it's in the car and the car is moving. So I can't get dressed before I put him in the seat because he'll throw up on me and then I'll have to change. But if I get dressed after I put him in the seat, he's crying. So I'm like, oh, gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up. He's screaming, you know, whatever. I gotta go get him. So I just have to throw something on. So it is so easy for me to just grab whatever is on the top of the hamper or in the chair, you know, the chair in the bedroom that collects all the laundry, something I wore yesterday, whatever, throw it on because I gotta go because guess what? He has to eat in another two hours and I have three errands to run. So this has forced me, because obviously I'm running the group, I have to obey the rules, obviously be some type of role model, I have to participate. So it has really forced me to mix up my wardrobe and get dressed and take that extra minute or take the time when the baby's sleeping to say, hey, think about what you're going to wear. This is the theme for the week. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give myself that time. You know, it would be the baby's sleeping. Oh my gosh, there's laundry, there's dishes. I haven't eaten in five hours. Like the dog has to go out, but now I'm taking the time. And that's the point to take the time for ourselves, to make it fun, to go through our wardrobes, to see what we have and for everyone to share style. It is an amazing judgment free zone completely. It's completely a fashion safe zone or a style safe zone, whichever sounds cooler. Um, kind of the old adage, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's, that's kind of how we roll. I mean, it's, you're getting compliments, you're getting questions, you're getting suggestions, you know, we're learning new stores. We've learned, you know, people have chimed in during the denim week. Someone had an issue with fits on the waist always, you know, because of her booty to waist ratio, which I'm sure all of us have experienced. She always had the gap in the waistband. So someone else chimed in and was like, Hey, try this website. This fits me. The denim is super soft. And it's just an amazing place to share. Um, we've had a LuLaRoe party during the, uh, one of the weeks when one of the weeks was athleisure, which is a, a huge trend, but not for me. So it was a challenge for me. So that was fun forced me out of my comfort zone. Um, but we had a LuLaRoe party and tons of giveaways. Three people got free LuLaRoe items, which is amazing. And I plan to do much more of that going forward. So I just wanted to hop on here and kind of explain what the group is about, why it exists, why I started it, why the members love it. I hope you all love it. Um, I think it's amazing. I love the participation. I love to see everyone's style. I love to hear everyone's opinions. This week was lilac, the color lilac, which is huge for spring. Spring accessories in all shades of light purple, hot. Okay, you heard it here first, or maybe second or third, but still you heard it here. So the theme was actually a color and it was lilac. And I had posted um, kind of like a color wheel of all the different shades of purple. And I asked everyone, what's your favorite? And it was so funny because it was like unanimous almost that it was plum. Well, looks like a couple weeks from now, plum's going to be the challenge and I expect to see some plum. So it's kind of cool, a way to shake things up. It's really fun. It's simple. Um, and I would love for you guys to join in. So head to Facebook. It's Get Dressed with Trisha, T-R-I-C-I-A. And I will, of course, put the link below. I hope to see you guys in the group. Just hit add. I'll approve you. And then start showing us your style. Start showing us what you love, where you shop, what you wear, what you do. We want to know about you and just, you know, keep making this little fashion community bigger and bigger and bigger and more fun. Get dressed with Trisha. I hope to see all of you guys there. I hope to hit the finish button as well in a timely fashion.